Hello, a very good afternoon to you today. My name is Sister Temi Tayo, and I'm here to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional with you. Uh, the devotional I'm, sh I'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Now, if you're visiting my channel for the very first time, I'm sure you'll be asking, Sister Tayo, why are you sharing this particular daily devotional? Why not another one? It's because I, as I prepared to enter into the year 2020, the Spirit of God instructed me. That was the assignment he gave me for that year. He instructed me to begin to share this particular daily devotional on YouTube to be very specific. And in that year, 2020, I was able to start that assignment in the month of June. I shared the devotional also in August, October, and December. And come 2021, I started sharing. I shared for the month of March, and I resumed sharing in May 2020. I want to say thank you very much for visiting my channel. Please share, you know, share this video. Um, tap, also subscribe to the channel. Tap the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you're aware. Thank you very much. So, Pastor Adeboye, he um, led me to Christ. And that's how I got to know Pastor Adeboye. He led me to Christ in October 1997, many years ago when I was an undergraduate in the University of Lagos. And uh, Pastor Adeboye's style of teaching is that he will give you a few scriptures to read. He will give you a memory verse. And when you combine those two pieces of scripture, it helps you to understand what he's trying to communicate to the body of Christ. Now, today is Tuesday, May the 4th. Amen. Tuesday, May the 4th. And the title of today's daily devotional is um, centered on prayers for the children. Prayers for the children. Amen. Now, today's reading is taken from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 28. Just one verse. Joel, chapter 2, verses 28. And the book of Joel is in the Old Testament. Uh, Joel is referred to as uh, one of the 12 minor prophets. Minor because he prophesied to either at the 10 tribes of Israel or to the two tribes of Benjamin and Judah. Okay? So, thus goes the reading of God's word. I'm going to be reading from the traditional King James you know, today, is sometimes I do read from other modern translations, if it helps to, um, if it's, if it, where it is, it, it helps us to, where the new modern translation is easier to understand the, the scripture. So, but today I'm going to be reading from the traditional King James because it's fairly simple. And it's Joel chapter 2 verses 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. Let me read that again. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out, of my, out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. Okay. And this scripture was also quoted by um, Apostle Peter. After Jesus had ascended and the Holy Spirit had been poured uh, on the day of Pentecost, you know, he then, you know, they were hiding in the upper room. But when the Spirit of God came upon them, you know, the Bible says that they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak in different tongues. So when he went outside, filled with the Holy Ghost, he began to, you know, people were saying they were drunk, you know, but he was saying that, no, no, this is what prophet Joel prophesied. That in the last days, God will pour out his Spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall be prophesied. So in other words, this scripture that pastor has given us was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost. Amen. May God bless the reading of his word. So today, prayers for the children. Amen. And our memory verse is taken from the book of Psalms 37 verses 25. Psalm 37 verse 25. A Psalm of David. In fact, David was not speaking here. It says, I've been younger now. I'm old yet. I have not seen the righteous forsaken. No, he see the begging bread. He said, I have been young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Because when a man is saved, his household is also saved. Amen. The blessing shall be upon us and upon our children. So pastor has laid out um, 12 prayer points here today. And I've chosen to take about six or seven. And I will put the remaining five, all the prayer, prayer points in, you know, the uh, comment box. So please you visit them and pray these prayers over your children. Amen. So. The first prayer point I'm going to be uh, picking on is number three. It says, Father, pour out your spirit upon our children and let them prophesy. Let them carry a full measure of your spirit. Amen. Father, pour, your, pour out your spirit upon our children. Let them prophesy. Let them carry a full measure 
of your spirit. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for our children, for our sons, and for our daughters, almighty God, that you pour out your spirit upon our children according to your word, which you speak through the prophet Joel. Father, pour out your spirit upon all our children, that they may prophesy and declare the whole counsel of God in Jesus' name upon our sons and upon our handmaidens. Almighty God, pour out your spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, cause them to carry a full measure of the Holy Spirit, like our Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. From a young age, Father, Lord, let them know the Holy Scriptures and let them be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to take the second prayer point, number four. It says, Lord, don't let our children be victims of the chaos in this world. They will not be victims of kidnappers, ritual killers, and wicked people. Please protect our children in all their ways, in Jesus' name. Amen. And this is particularly, impo particularly important because, you know, as parents go to work and they send their children to school, in some countries we've heard of, you know, killers, you know, some, some, somebody goes crazy, picks up a gun and shoots his classmate. But that is not our portion in Jesus' name. So let us pray. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we declare, we decree and declare that our children, our sons and our daughters, they will never be victims of chaos in this world in jesus name father lord when the terrorists strike our children will not be there in the name of jesus christ they will be safe under the shadow of your wings a thousand may fall at their sides and ten thousand at their right hand on their right hand but shall not come nigh them only with their eyes shall they behold and see the reward of the wicked in the name of jesus they will never 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 be victims of kidnappers for it is rich in touch not and anointed and do my prophets no harm they will not be victims of ritual killers. You will send your angels before them in the name of Jesus. And you will deliver us and our children from wicked and unreasonable men in Jesus' name. Father, please protect our children and all our families and all their ways in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The fifth prayer point. Father, we will not bury our children in the name of Jesus. We cover. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Premature death is not their portion. Amen. Father, we thank you. So we're going to pray because um, God said we'll see our children's children. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Father, we will not bury our children in the name of Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. We will never bury our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I cover all our children, our sons, our daughters, all our children in the children's church, all our children in the in the church. Almighty God, I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. No evil shall befall them and no plague shall come near their dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. None of our children will die a premature death. No, 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 it is not their portion in the name of Jesus. Our portion and the portion of our children is in the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Lord. We hide us and our children under the shadow of your wings. In Jesus' name, amen. And the next prayer point is, um, Father, uproot every evil influence in the lives of our children. Father, it says, please separate our children from every negative association in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. I uproot every evil influence almighty god in the lives of our children in the mighty name of jesus they will not be mixed up with children that do drugs they will not be mixed up with thieves they will not be mixed up with any ungodly influence in jesus name father lord please i pray that you separate all our children from every negative association in the name of jesus father lord when they say unto our children come let us go and steal let us go and join um the bandits father lord you give them feet that are swift to run away from evil. They will not hide anything from us, their parents. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Um, the next prayer point is, Father, this year, make a way for our children. Let them experience great miracles. Please remove every obstacle to their breakthrough. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, I pray for our children this year, 2021. Father, I ask. I ask in their education, in everything that they do, make a way for our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, as they go from primary to secondary to tertiary institutions, Father, make a way for them. Let them experience great miracles. Almighty God, in this year 2020, let our children experience great and mighty miracles that will cause them to get to church and testify. Amen. We declare that the case of our children, and their case is different. In Jesus' name, Father, 
I pray that you remove every obstacle in their way in the name of Jesus. But I give them the strength to jump over this, this, this obstacles in Jesus' name. And if they cannot jump over that obstacle, Father Lord, we thank you because they will go through and they will come out successful in Jesus' mighty name. Next prayer point. Lord, please make our children great. Use them for your glory. Let them be greater than we their parents amen so if you have children you really should be praying these prayers over them i said i will put all the prayer points in the comment box amen so look up look up for them and pray for your children very important what are you doing that you cannot pray for your children okay so let's pray father i pray for all our children uh, almighty god i pray for the children of my heroes as well as mine almighty god that you will make our children great in the mighty name of jesus make our children great almighty god Use them for your for your glory. Let them be greater than we, their parents, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says that our path is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Father, Lord, let our children be greater than us. Father, Lord, make them very great, almighty God. Use them for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God the Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we prayed. Hmm. The, the last prayer point I'm going to pray is that, Lord, at your second coming, don't let our children be missing. Lord, at your second coming, don't let our children be missing. So, um, as Christians, we're all looking forward to when we'll be with the Lord, when at the rapture, you know, that um, our, our children will be with us, you know, that they would, they had to follow hard after the things of God. So, at the second coming, when Jesus returns, it's not that you know our children will be left behind, God forbid, but the word of God would have been so embedded in their spirit. They will do greater things than us, so they will not miss the coming of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, I pray that at your second coming, Almighty God, that our children will not be missing in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be left behind. It will be us and our children who will make heaven. We will see you in your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, Father, let the word of God enter into our children. The Bible says we should train our children in the way that they should go. And when they grow up, they will not depart from it. And we train our children according to the word of God so that they will not miss your appearing in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this prayer I pray for all our children, all our young ones, all our nieces and our nephews, almighty God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So the prayer of them, thanksgiving. Father, thank you for the beautiful children you have given us. Thank you for blessing us with these children and for trusting us to care for them. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for our sons and our daughters. We pray this prayer for every child, almighty God, in our churches, in the body of Christ. We thank you because you have given them unto us. We thank you for blessing us with these precious, precious, beautiful children, these goodly and godly children. And Father, I pray, Almighty God, that you will bless them. And we thank you for trusting us to care for them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And all over the body of Christ, I pray for the children of God, our little ones, Almighty God, that the angels of God that see you face to face will protect them and hide them and deliver them from evil. Your wisdom is upon them. They are hidden under the shadow of your wings. And as they go out, as they play, as they run around, your protection and your blood is upon them in Jesus' name. They have the wisdom of God at work in them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. Um, so I'm going to put on the you know on the chat again the remaining prayer points. Please do pray these prayers consistently for your children. Thank you very much for taking time to listen to me today. Um you have a good day and may God bless all our children in Jesus' name. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.